slugging has absolutely soared over the last 12 games. And how about Aaron Judge? Eight ribbies over his last two games. He's batting 400 over his last seven games. And he was asked about his approach at the plate today and recently after another three-hit game. Yeah, approach. my approach at the plate, everything really doesn't change. Um, I think my preparation, you know, before the game and during the game is a little different. You know, usually, you know, you have those, you know, in between innings, you run out to right field, you know, playing catch, moving around, you know, making some plays out there to kind of keep yourself, you know, loose, you know, so for when, while you're DHing, um, you got to find ways, you know, get back to the weight room, you know, move around a little bit, hop in the cage, see some pitches. Uh, so it changes a little bit. Um, but I, I got to also, I just got to give a shout out too to, uh, to Tyone today on his uh, great performance, you know, first win since 2019, which is something special. That's a guy that, and I've only known him for a short amount of time now, but he's a guy, you know, shows up ready to work, works his butt off every single day. So it's a pretty special moment today. As you mentioned, it's been two years, had to overcome a lot of adversity over those years to get back out on the mound. What did you guys say to him in the clubhouse after the game, considering it is his first win in a long time? Yeah, he was he was player of the game for us uh, today, you know, going out there, you know, throwing five, going to have one run. Um, now, it was a special moment, you know, whenever you have a big injury like that, Tommy John, you, you know, I know it probably creeps in the back of some guys' mind that, you know, this might be the last time I ever throw. Um, you know, what's my career going to look like? But he's a guy that's, you know, through all of it, stayed positive and continued to work, work, work. And, you know, it's really showing right now. I know he's just only been a couple of games with us, but uh, I'm excited to see what he does the rest of this year and, and beyond. Were you impressed by that fifth inning in particular? He got into a little bit of trouble, had runners on the bases with Miguel Cabrera at the plate, and he's able to bear her down there and get the strikeouts, get out of the inning. Yeah, that, that was a big moment, but that just shows you what type of competitor he is. Um, he's not going to back down from anyone, you know, especially a guy like that who's going to be a Hall of Fame, one of the best right-handed hitters in the game. Um, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't back down, you know, especially with the kind of stuff he has, his approach, his mindset. Um, I'll take him, you know, nobody on. No outs or bases loaded, two outs. It, it doesn't matter. I want him on the mound. Justin Shackle, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, what would you say is the biggest difference with you and others in the lineup being able to come through in those key spots at the plate? I think it's just at bats. You know, you can't really, can't really be judged off of 15, 30, 40 at bats. You know, it's you know we got to work ourselves into the season and just get reps. I think. That's what it really comes down to is repetition, you know, with anything you do, you know, practice makes perfect. And, um, you know, once you practice it, you know, go through a couple, you know, bad slumps, bad, bad times and just continue to work. And this is what this team continues to do, you know, through the ups and downs. We continue to work and continue to try to improve. And um, and like I've always said, hitting is contagious. You know, a couple guys get on base, you know, it kind of gives the team confidence to go out there and do their job.